Hello everyone, we just a to back with another deck review. This one's a little bit a little bit different, I guess. It is the Sunatem deck. Uh, I guess that's what it's called. It is a Mark deck. The front says Sunatem. I don't know what that means. And it's an SPS nice in gold. And it says Sunatem 2015. Um Carts Azue and Belgium. And it, it looks like some kind of a certificate or something. I believe it was made for uh, some kind of a magic convention or something. I'm not entirely sure. Besides, say, Christian Tillman, who is the creator of the deck. Nothing on top. The bottom, I don't know if you can read it or not, but it says, Marsand de Trux Editions. And there's an address in France. I believe that is a magic shop in France. But in the back, you see the back design, which is a little bit odd. It is a marked deck, though. We'll get to that in a bit. There's no seal. And it's not USB-C or anything like that. This is actually from Grimaud in uh, France. Go figure. You do get a card inside, which tells you uh, about the markings. Ooh. <laughs> and then... You get some bonus cards. First of all, you get a double blank card. You get another double blank card. And you get another blank card on one side. Seven plugs on the other. Uh, pretty soon that's for some effect, but I'm not sure what it is off the top of my head. The Ace of Spades is just a standard grim mode with, uh, it looks like a jack, one of the jacks. Doing a portrait of the king of spades and it says grim mode. Actually, it's Grimau, I believe. I don't know. I don't want to butcher it. Made in France. And then the number cards are fairly standard. Or the court cards, I should say. And the number cards. In fact, they look like the ones that are used in some of the Legends and Expert Point Card Company decks. At least I thought so. Yeah, look at that. That's like. Same as the ones they use in like expert point card company decks. And the number cards, of course, basically standard. Like I said, mark deck. Oh, I should show you the back design. That might be a good idea. Here it is. It's kind of weird. It's got this green silhouette of a man. It's got a uh, double sided, some kind of double sided padlock in the center, which actually makes it a one way back design because number one the shadow or the reflection on that padlock is different from one side to the other and of course the numbers are make it different so it is a subtle one way back and it is marked and there's the markings in the corner we'll uh show you i'll show you that right now i'll select the cord at random Ah, this one right here, it is the Eight of Spades, there you go, I can tell because it highlights the suit and the value in it, but I won't get into that. This deck is pretty interesting, um, I did a review recently on the Mark deck from Phoenix, uh, the Phoenix Mark deck from Card Search. That is, and uh, it's very nice and easy to read the markings. You can easily identify what it is because it basically spells it out for you right on the card. So I like that. And this one is similar to the Delands deck, and it's pretty easy to figure out. Like this one, for instance, is the nine of clubs. There you go. This one, oh, it's also club, king of clubs. Oh no, three of clubs. Where's the marking? Oh, it's hidden in there. <laughs> um, three of uh, hearts. There you go. It's pretty simple. So I like it. I mean, once you get used to it, it's very easy. It's a lot better than some of these other decks where it's really hidden in there and you have to look really closely. Like, ooh, where is it? Uh, oh, it's... That many lines, it's got to be this, got to be that. Or the NOC decks, 
not a big fan of the markings on that. If you have to put all this effort into memorizing and figuring out and what the markings are and where they are and you have to look really closely at the cards to try and determine what it is, it is worthless to me. I mean, it's too hard. It's make it nice and easy like this or the Phoenix deck, the uh, DMC black and gold deck, while the quality was not that good handling wise. Again, it's the same marking as the Phoenix deck. Really good. It should be easy to read, a marked deck. Anyways, that is that. These, this deck, of course, is Grimaud. A little bit thin on the stock, perhaps. Similar to a bicycle, though. But perhaps a little bit thinner, maybe more like an aviator. It does have an embossed linen finish. Handles, not too badly. I got this at collectibleplayingcards.com. You can get it there as well. Use the code VJOS832. You get 10% off your order. Of course, you got to mention that. Um, it is a little bit pricey. 25 bucks, I think, whatever it was. However, only 500 were produced and obviously less than those being sold. So, the back design, you know, it's a little bit odd. I'll say... Goodness me, I don't know what to say. It's pretty interesting. It's got lots of little details in there. Little gears and whatnot on the sides and everything. But, I don't know. I don't understand it too well. Um, I'll say three and a half out of five. It works. It's, you know, it's usable. It's just a little odd looking. The faces, they're just standard Grimaud. Um, nothing much to say there. I'll just say four out of five. Handling wise, it is what it is. You're probably not going to use a deck like this to do fanning or fluorescing. But it's, you know, it handles alright, so I'll say four, four and a quarter out of five. Overall, a good, you know, four and a quarter out of five, perhaps, for this deck. It's pretty good, it's usable, easy to read. It's a little bit pricey, but it is kind of a rare deck. And it's not very often you see a deck from Grimmauld that has custom backs, so I was in for that. If anyone knows what these cards are used for, feel free to let me know. Anyways, that is that. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what you think. Don't forget you can buy these at collectiblepointcards.com. DJ's A Crazy gets you 10% off your order. And that is that. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.